everybody welcome back to another video the tea on mpd and relationships hello everyone to all of my new subscribers and new family members hello and welcome and to my tribe and family at large family welcome back thank y'all so much for coming back and of course watching another video y'all know every time i drop a video i'm gonna always mention our thursday night live stream listen you don't want to miss that thursday night live streams this is where we go from healing to wholeness to boldness this is where it goes down on the Thursday night live stream. Listen, y'all, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Just uh, jump in the chat, grab a snack, come on back and invite some folks to come back with you, all right? Please do, please do. And of course, every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, plus, plus on the likes. Listen, if you rocks with your girl, hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button one. Two, hit that like y'all y'all dancing with your girl <laughs> y'all hit that like button for your girl all right y'all let's jump into the topic of this video let's get into it let's talk about it how the narcissist uses the new supply to hoover you yes y'all these birds do that yes they do y'all listen a narcissist will try to hoover you by any means necessary okay they do hoovers by proxy they do um and that's usually through another person uh they will do uh indirect uh sometimes just it just depends on you know where you are with the narcissist you know if you've hurt their feelings really bad they'll probably do an indirect one from like a burner number or something like that so you don't know it know that it's them and uh, all they want to do is make contact with you all right they want to make contact but how the narcissist uses the new supply to hoover you okay let's go let's get it so these birds are very creative in the way that they try to get back with their previous supply okay they're very creative and one thing you got to understand is that a narcissist does not like to lose control of supply, okay? So if they've ever had you, especially if you were grade A supply um, and you were with them for some time, you better know, trust, and believe, okay? Please understand that once you are out of their lives and they've even monkey branched on to another supply, they are going to come back looking for you because they literally see you as their property, okay? But what happens is, the way that they, and, and, and so therefore they're going to come back and hoover. But the way that a narcissist uses the new supply to hoover you, y'all, this is crazy. Watch this. Now, they'll do it one of two ways. I'm going to explain both ways. Now, the first way that they do it is this. And I think I've told you all, um, I've, I've mentioned this before. But the first way that they do it is um, they'll put the new supply on uh, social media right and so the narcissist already knows that the new supply may be a downgrade right so if you are still very much in your feelings y'all hear me now if you're still very much in your feelings you didn't get closure the narcissist actually um discarded you and that narcissist went and picked a downgrade. Probably it was the back burner supply, somebody that was already waiting in the wings to be with that narcissist. And so they'll put them up on social media. You know, they'll try to flaunt the new supply in your face. It's, you know, if it's a downgrade and they all pictured up with them. And so the narcissist already know, and you probably knew this person when you were in the relationship with the narcissist, you probably got wind of this person. So they'll put them up and you just like wait what because you're watching their their uh social media which i tell y'all all the time don't do that but they put this other bird up there with them and so you just immediately get upset <laughs> i gotta say you just immediately get upset i mean you start fighting with yourself you are arguing you talking to yourself and the whole nine before you reach out to this bird you're like yo i mean you just having a full-blown argument with the narcissist about the new supply that they decided to choose because it is such a downgrade and so opposite of you you sitting there like wait what wait what is happening <laughs> 
<laughs> Y'all sitting there like, did he just, or did she just put that up? Like you could have, you could have kept that hidden. Like what is happening right now? Yes. So you reach out to this bird. You having you having a whole argument. I told y'all this before. You having a whole argument with this bird because he done picked somebody from the safari. Okay? He got a whole farm animal. <laughs> he or she got a whole farm animal over there. And you are having all kinds of problems with this. Yes! On purpose they do it, right? I'm just saying, this is what this is how they hoover you with the new supply. Now. The second reason, and they doing all of this, y'all, because their direct Hoover attempts to get you or to get your attention has failed. That's why they're doing it. So if they have tried to reach out to you, you block them. Um, you know, they can't call you. They can't email you. What they'll do, and usually what the, if they don't do it on social media, they will try to contact you directly through like a social media or actually a burner number or something like that. Now, this second way, this is what they do. Okay. So they will, uh, they will reach out to you and uh, send you pictures of the new supply. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you discarded the narcissist. They will send you pictures of the new supply. Now, the reason that they're doing this is because they want a response. They want a reaction out of you. You've hurt their feelings. You basically, you know, you've, you've given them a narcissistic injury because most of y'all probably discarded them if they're doing this to you. Um, and the narcissist is trying to get back at you. But what they really want is a conversation. And I'm going to tell you, I mean, even after seven years with narcissists, number one, this fool is still trying it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I care. I don't. And that's how you have to be. And that's when they really do it is when you're in that place of being unbothered. You know, they will use that new supply, send you pictures of the new supply of their new relationship. Now, they can't do it directly from their phones because they're blocked. And if you have changed your phone number then they'll do it through like a burner number and they'll you know send little snide comments and things like that you know and it's all to hurt you or to make you feel bad but baby let me tell you something ah, when you get over them and you are unbothered when i get them y'all guess what i do I be sitting there laughing my behind off because you know what I be saying. And this is what you'll say too when you heal. Y'all hit that like button for your girl, please. When you heal, you will be sitting there laughing at that bird. Okay? Laughing because you know that they want a conversation and can't get it. I mean, why are you over here? And you, I mean, you are probably sitting there thinking to yourself, you, it, it's whatever time at night. Why are you laying next to your new supply, your wife, your, your boyfriend, your, uh, your girlfriend, whatever it is. Why are you laying next to that individual sitting up texting me or, and, and doing it from a fake fraudulent number because you know that you can't contact me directly. Do they know you're doing this? I wonder if your, your new boo know you're doing this. But this is what they do because they want you to respond. They want any type of engagement with you possible because you have rejected their hoovers and you've rejected every advance that they've tried to try it on you. And so the last resort, their desperate thing to do is to go to using the new supply to hoover you. They'll use the downgrade. They use that to make you mad, to get a reaction out of you. Like, I know you just did not do that. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll put their, you know, their new relationship. They'll send you direct pictures of them, you know, because they want a conversation with you, baby. You ain't about to get no conversation with me. Mm -mm. I don't care about you. I don't care about your new supply. I don't care about none of that. Listen, y'all, I don't care. I don't care. My, look, my Southern accent coming out. I don't care. And that's how you have to be. And when they know you don't, and it bothers them when you don't, when you just don't care. Because you already know that that new supply didn't get nothing. You know what I'm saying? So they will use and they do it because they want to hurt you, especially if you're fresh out of the relationship. And I'm telling you, y'all, they don't stop with narcissists. Number one, it's been literally probably about seven, uh, probably almost seven years or right at seven years. OK, since it's been gone, you know, done with. And I'm just like this clown is still. So I'm just telling you, all I'm letting you know that they don't stop. 
Why? Because they have an obsession with you. When you leave that bird, when you cut it off and say, uh-uh, no more. That's this. This is when they hoover you with by do you know playing around trying to send you pictures of the new supply. It's out of desperation. It's because they see your glow up. They see your blow up. They see you bossing up. They see you on your game completely, and they just can't take it, y'all. They can't. They want a conversation. They want. I mean, they would be good with an argument right about now. Just anything. You know, just anything. But I wanted to put this out here, family, because I want y'all to understand. Y'all got to ignore these birds. You know, you got to work on yourself, do the work on yourself. So whenever they reach out like that, it's it, it, you're going to be unaffected, unbo unbothered. You know what I'm saying? Unbothered. Because you know that whatever that new supply got was nothing, basically basically and and pretty soon they will find out but also too why they're doing this is because they're bored with the new supply they're sick of them they don't even want them no more they i told y'all once they get with the new supply about 60 to 90 days maybe 180 days tops they are sick of that new supply they ready to move on monkey branch to something else you know what i'm saying you don't you have risen to the top of the list you are the most wanted now all right, family. So y'all make sure y'all hit that like button for me, please. Y'all send this over to some folks that can use it and y'all take a, a really good care of yourselves. I love you all and I will see you all on the next video and I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.